So if you haven't already noticed why I'm sitting on the floor, I'm moving out of this house. And I'm talking quietly because movies and my parents are in the next room so I don't really want them to come in and see me filming. Bed's not there anymore, bookshelf's not there anymore, and packing up my books was really, really sad. I've got a new house and I'll see you there. Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Phoebe and I recently moved house, clearly I told you at the start of the video. I'm wearing the same jumper so you might think that the previous video and this video has been filmed like hours or apart or a day apart but it's really not. This is like, I moved, that moving day, that video was filmed like two weeks ago so and you can clearly see that my cleanliness shows. I did recently finish a book, I got it from the library and it is a part of a trilogy. There is like a fourth book but it's a 0 0.5 sort of thing. So it is a trilogy and I read it and I actually really really liked it. Didn't think so because there was so many mixed reviews about it, about annoying characters and stuff. But I decided to try it. It was in the, in the library, I had it on hold. So I went to get it and it was great and I, and I really really liked it. And the book is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This book is the first book in a trilogy which is not new, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm really bad with date. The Maze Runner Trilogy by James Dashner. And this book, the basic rundown of this book is a boy called Thomas wakes up in an elevator, memory wiped. Only thing he remembers is his name. And then the elevator rises into this sort of big green sort of garden or something like that. I'm trying to explain it. That was like it in my head. All these boys are sort of surrounding him and he gets told that he's been in the glade and which is what they call where they live and they say he's been in a maze. So outside of the glade is sections of the maze. So he's in there and he arrives a week after another boy did and because every month they think they're gonna get a new boy because all of them are boys by the way but every month they get a new boy it's always the same day but then a week after they got a new boy they get a new one which was Thomas and then a day after Thomas gets there a new girl comes and it's a girl and they've never had a girl before they think Thomas is the is the reason for all this trouble and they think that he has something to do with it and they're trying to crack the code and on their way they always try to find out the way out of the maze but yeah I think that's all the summary I can give before I start spoiling the book it's actually really really interesting a lot of people had problems with Thomas because like I even noticed it too Thomas does repeat himself quite a bit but I actually think he's a really really good character I really like him and I really like his optimism and his confidence and he was really open to new ideas and I really liked his his intellectualness that's a thing I really liked Thomas as a character he did get annoying at times because he did repeat himself a lot but I did really like his character probably my favorite character it's sort of leaning between I do like do like Thomas but probably my favorite characters are Minho and Newt which are people of the maze. The Minho is the keeper of the runners and Newt is sort of the leader of something else. I'm not really quite sure. I can't recall that. Like, I love Minho's courage. Newt is so, so funny. Some of the sentences in this book he says is so, so, so funny. And I think you should definitely, definitely, definitely read this book if you haven't. I was sort of reluctant to read it as well, but then when I got it out of the library and I finished it, I... I was so so happy with it. I there's you know a bit of pros and cons and stuff, but with, like there isn't with every book. But I honestly loved it. Spoiler section now. So if you haven't read the book, go 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 read it because it is amazing. And I just want to share my feelings, so I want to spoil people. But I want to spoil people that have already read it. So go read it if you haven't read it. Go away from this video if you haven't read it, and just go read it and then come back and then I can spot you. Bye. Okay, so 
spoiler section. First thing I really liked about this book was the character development of Thomas. Of course he repeats himself and he's quite annoying at the start because he whines and all that. I guess the beginning was a bit slow but as he got on he kept, you know, he did repeat how much he wanted to be a runner. I did really like his courage in wanting to become a runner and I liked what the runners did. And then the point where, um, it, it was so intense for me. I felt so claustrophobic reading it because it was so intense because when Minho and Alibi were outside of the doors when the doors were about to close and then Thomas was inside and Newt was running towards him and Thomas had this sudden urge run out of the gate into the maze and then Newt was running towards him he's like no don't don't do it because it's the number one rule and everything but then when Thomas stepped out I honestly thought it was that obviously it's not the end because it's a three book series but when he stepped out and he was going into the maze and then he did all those things to help Albie and Minho run off. I just I just couldn't believe Thomas's bravery and I honestly think he did have something to do with it because it I did feel like all the other boys in the glade beforehand didn't really um, contribute much but Thomas suddenly was strong and knew all this sort of stuff and knew properly sort of how to be a runner. Thomas is um, character really developed through that bit and I really connected to Minho's character through that bit even though there wasn't a lot of Minho in there but I do really like Thomas's character development and Thomas's relationship with Minho their development in that sort of part of the story. No one had ever survived being out in the maze over one night and Minho had survived and Albie had survived and Thomas had survived and he was sort of the perpetrator for doing all that. They were having a community meeting or a gathering or whatever they call it and then um, Newt announced like or they were having all the leaders in the one room and then when they and then when Newt announced okay you guys some people have come up to me and say they want Thomas to be killed and some other of you guys have asked to have Thomas's hand in marriage and some <laughs> and that was really really funny to me I actually laughed out loud at that because it was actually so so funny his comments are so sarcastic and so facetious and I just love the dialogue in this book oh and the, and the another dialogue that's really really funny from Newt's was um, when they were about to go out into the maze to try and find a way out this is more near the end of the book and they asked for Minho's sort of speech sort of thing and all he said was don't die and then Newt said oh we're just all bloody inspired and the word bloody occurs a lot in this book because I thought I thought that was really really funny because I hear it a lot around where I am because I live in Australia but that's, that was really really funny to me and I really love that part and I love when um, Teresa came because she really sort of turned and flipped everything on its head. I really found Teresa sort of sinister at the start and then when Teresa's relationship with Thomas grew and then when they were out in the maze about to jump into the grievers hole Teresa really showed fear and stuff like that and I was I was sort of like wow she's not actually because I thought she was supposed to be like danger like warning danger all about her because I honestly felt like because she was a bit suspicious and I, I ended up liking her as a character and Chuck honestly when he died at the sort of the end when he jumped in front of Thomas I I didn't cry that bit I thought I would if any of the characters would have died but I didn't because there wasn't like there was a lot of character development following Thomas because the story did follow Thomas but there wasn't a lot of character development around Thomas that like wasn't a lot of character development with Chuck and Thomas and Chuck's relationship and there wasn't a lot of development there and there wasn't enough development in Teresa's and Thomas's relationship and all the other relationships there wasn't ju there just wasn't enough character development to get completely attached to the characters and be able to completely form a sort of bond with them and then you know have enough emotion to cry at the bits that 
they really got hurt and stuff. But I really, really liked this book overall, and I really hope that you go read it. That's the end of the spoiler section, by the way. But um, I really hope you go read it, and it, but I am definitely going to pick up the second book, which I believe is The Scorch Trials. And there is about one to two chapters in the end of this book that I already read, so I already first read like the first two chapters of the, of the Scorch Trials. And it actually sounds so, so good. And I really, really can't wait to read it, and I really hope you read it too. Okay, thank you for watching, and I really hope you go read The Maze Runner because a lot of people had a, had a problem with it because there is pros and cons and stuff but I actually really really liked it and I hope you go read it and I hope you have a nice day and I hope you go watch my other videos and yeah bye it, w it was so intense for me because when I was reading I felt so claustrophobic 